I, I've said this before. I want to say this again. Um, I want to say this again. Um, uh, I don't know, a hundred years ago or so, cocaine, heroin. These were these were medications that I, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you could you could buy them over the counter. I, I know that they were prescribed medications. Um, uh, um, what happens? What happens in this country and around the world, and I'm not, and, and rightfully so, to a point. However, it's not good to be scared into something. Into, un, into, into under. It's, what's not good is when, is when is when fear hides the truth. Okay. So what what I want to say is that is that is that. Uh, you know, the medications uh, that I that I took, Adderall that I've been that I've taken on and off for the last 20 years, um, uh, it's prescribed by a doctor, and, and you know um, one of the things about the whole nature of, of prescription medications, and something that you don't you don't talk about with your doctor, it's a, there's a serious nature of of, of having a, a medicine prescribed to you. That serious nature is how you handle the medication. It's it's how you take it. It's how you think about. Uh, what you're taking and why you're taking it, and uh, you know, it, depending on if it's a if it's a short-term illness or sickness or more of a long-term issue that you're getting prescribed medication for, it's all different. Um, they're all different types of medications. They're they're, they're labeled different things. It, they affect people differently. Um, some medications have have an umbrella kind of a policy that, that that cover everybody even though some people aren't the people that abuse medications so what i what i like to do what i like to what I, in all the years of me thinking about this because because it's when you take a medication you have to take it really seriously know what the, the effects are know what the, you know the dangers can be what uh you know you have to you you want to know everything about it. That's why they give you a piece of paper that's like about this long, that says all these different things to watch out for. So what I what I wanted what I want to say here is that is that when doctors prescribe you medications, the, the doctors I'm I'm going to say this and don't take it the wrong way. Doctors are almost like a legal drug dealer in a way, and if you look at it that way, it can help you understand. It can help you understand our drug problem in the United States. It can help you understand how we can possibly help. The drug problem in different ways and um you see so many uh, dr drugs and the drugs that are on the street that are just that are that are made somehow by people that must have recipes for and and and, and ingredients that buy from the, that are more pure than, than, than the stuff that that some of these crazy um people that make chemicals or buy stuff at the grocery store and, and you know that that turn house chemical product you know household chemical products into um i think methamphetamine is one of them cat i think was one of them i heard about maybe it was a leaf you chew i don't you chewed i don't know i learned about all these things all growing up you know in college and high school mainly college and in, in that, that period of your life when you're at frat parties and all kinds of things are going on with partying and you're hearing about different things around the campfire usually so and then you're watching tv shows and cops and so don't 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 anyone act like i'm the kind of the expert here but we live in a world that's inundated with all kinds of knowledge about about drugs and everywhere we go people talk about it just that someone offered me a puff of his joint walking by here so i of course uh, uh, turned it down kindly um so what i want to say is is that is that a doctor is, is a is a doctor is a way in which you know is a he's a way he's a tool he's an instrument he's a way in which a, a medication can be prescribed in a limited number that helps you feel better and there's all kinds of conditions out there and there's all kinds of conditions that have all different kinds of symptoms and different symptoms and different remedies for those symptoms so so instead of in, instead of looking at like you know a medication that that someone takes like for instance Adderall has, has is uh, in the chemical name it's it's called uh, it's a type of amphetamine salt it's an amphetamine salt now what's the difference between an amphetamine salt 
and methamphetamines, I think there's a hell of a lot big difference when it comes to the chemical composition. Okay, so when someone gets on my page, and 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 and, I, and I'm making a, 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 and I'm explaining my situation about how I'm getting rid of this medication I'm taking because I I want to make sure that everyone isn't um, concerned about it because it's a medication that, that a lot of people are concerned about, and my situation is very unique. Um, and especially with social media, how we get to know people in social media now, um, there are some concerns that people might have with someone that, with some, someone that takes a medication that they don't know them very well. Um, so I had to talk about it, and and um, and then it doesn't help when someone gets on my page and talks about how it's it's similar to a methamphetamine, my my my, my medication. And basically, what the person was doing was, is she was she was trying to she was trying to she was trying to drum up business for her marijuana her own marijuana marijuana business because she wants to come she wants to she wants to sell her own sell her marijuana and she wants people to, to buy it from her and she wants her marijuana to be to be special. So she's trying to use me as a way. She's trying to use me in my situation to make my doctor. Look like a, look like a genius because I, I'm because I'm taking methamphetamines. Basically, is what she's saying. When I'm not taking methamphetamines, I'm taking Adderall, which is a medication that doctors prescribe um, people for ADHD, and it's a stimulant. And there's several different kinds of stimulants: um, Concerta, Ritalin. They all have, uh, I think, believe uh, Ritalin is is a is a type of amphetamine as well. So. I just want to uh, I want to explain that that the, and I said this before the doctors are basically like a modern day legal drug dealer and I think we all know that small amounts of different types of medications different types of substances like drinking alcohol like people that smoke cigarettes caffeine all these things that are legal well Many, many more things might be legal if there wasn't such large quantities of them and they were so addictive. If, if people could just have one little, one little drop of an amphetamine every day from a, from a leaf that's drip, you know, some kind of leaf that has a liquid that makes an amphetamine, and if everyone just took one drop every day and felt good, I don't think there'd be a problem. But since everyone, but since lots of uh, abuse happens with some of these medications, Yet some of the medications are also good. There has to be doctors to prescribe them, or doctors allow it, allow the prescriptions to happen. Otherwise, everything would just be illegal, and there'd be even more violence and more deaths from abuse. So that's what I wanted to say.